Hey, it's Coach Kavanaugh here. And yesterday we talked about the five things that you must do to make your highlight tape stand out against the crowd. Today I'm gonna to tell you about the three don'ts, the things that you absolutely should not do in your highlight tape if you're gonna have coaches watching your film. Remember, the goal of the highlight tape is to have the coach interested in you to the point where they invest in you in the long haul. That means watching more game film, talking to your high school coach, reaching out to you. That is the goal. So if you're not brief and brilliant, if you're not on point with everything on your highlight film, you'll never get there. If you haven't watched yesterday's film on the five things that you must do, go back and watch that. Once you knock those things out, then come back here, address these things, and I guarantee you after you're done, you're gonna have a standout highlight film that again is gonna stand out against the crowd and coaches are gonna be really interested in. So the three things that you must do. The first one, we wanna make sure that there's no effects, okay? This is not a music video. You don't need to be, you know, a Star Trek movie. We don't wanna see a kid's highlight film and it's slow down, speed up, after effects or anything like that. So what we talked about the spot shadowing yesterday, making sure that it was before the start of the play so we know where you were. We don't need to see you highlight yourself again right before you make a big hit. A lot of running backs, they'll make the highlight tape to where right when he makes his really big cut and jukes a guy out, he pauses it. And then it makes the kid look bad because we don't see that in full speed. What we wanna see you is move in full speed. So no slow motion, no effects, make sure that we use the spot shadow and, the, and make sure that we use it properly. The second thing, no JV or scrimmage film. If it's your highlight tape, it should be your best stuff. And we don't wanna see a kid in practice do some really good things that he can't translate to do in the game. Now there are exceptions to this if a kid doesn't have you know, a lot of film because he's you know, um, not a starter or he's super young and he fits a division one profile. Those are some things that we'll deal with later. But right now, no JV film, no scrimmage film. We wanna see you in a live game. Coaches recruit gamers and the only way they know if you're a gamer is if you're gonna perform on game day. The third and last thing is your music selection. As a coach, when I watch highlight films, I put it on the mute button, it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. But I know a lot of coaches that watch film with the music on, and if you have bad taste in music, it could offend them. It might not be poor music to you, but again, you're not trying to recruit your friends. You're trying to get recruited by college coaches. So you're not the one that's doing the judging. They are, and those guys more than likely have different types of music taste than you do. So understand, that's not something that we wanna to do to jeopardize the recruiting process. So make sure, again, number one, we wanna make sure that there's no effects, no slow motions, nothing like that when we make our cuts. Number two, no JV film, no scrimmage film. And then the last thing that we absolutely should not do is to make sure that the music is either whatever the template is on your huddle account or no music at all. I'm a big fan of having some techno, some you know rock, just beats. You know, we really don't want any words into it because we want to just focus on you. That's the game plan. Focus on you and I guarantee you it's going to make yourself look good. Once you put that together with the five things that we talked about yesterday, send your highlight tape back to me. I want to see where you are and I'm hoping to regrade it. My goal is, is just by changing some of those things that the coaches have a different, you know, view of you. They do that, I promise you, you're going to get more interest. Do that, let me know, get back to me, and then we're gonna start hitting this recruiting game plan as we move forward.